Hello friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. 2004 Toyota Prius, second gen, with only 86,000 miles on the odometer. New customer, never saw this car or never met the owner. She came with, oh, my maintenance light is on, what it means? I'm like, aha, uh -huh. that's interesting. That means that your engine oil and filter is due. Sure enough, I look on the windshield. There was a sticker from Toyota dealer and it was like 2000 miles overdue. I'm like, okay, I will be taking care of this car and I have to go through it. New customer, you always want to check the AUX battery, which is in the trunk. As you can see, there is an extension cord to it. The battery was in good shape, was not bad, but it was severely undercharged because she's not using the vehicle enough. So, while I will have it in the shop, I'm charging that entire time that small AUX battery. You know they are babies. I have one here actually, the core, it's very tiny and it needs to be fully charged, otherwise you can get yeah, stranded. The complaint was for the driver's side headlight intermittently working. So she has the HIDs, those expensive lights, and there's intermittent faction and we will discuss that in different video. This video will be titled something like a hybrid transmission fluid change. I filmed this maybe a million years ago. I correctly call that hybrid transaxle. People don't even know what it is. So we will call this video hybrid transmission. You are looking at it and guess when the oil was changed in this vehicle. The only owner she tries to change the engine oil and filter and i ask her hey so when was the hybrid transaxle oil changed so never never of course never so that gives us opportunity to show you how easy it is to do a drain and a refill there's no need for flushes and complicated procedures. I want to show you how it's easy to change the fluid on 2004 Toyota Prius in the hybrid transaxle. I have already started it, but I backed out and said, hey, I need to show them. So guys, so easy. Typical DIY situation. If I move this pen a little bit, you have only two places to deal with. Here is the drain bolt and that's a hex tan tool. This is how hex tan looks like. And you will be experts. You will crack open the correct drain. Because if you look, it's very misleading right here. 24 millimeter drain plug and there will be coolant pouring out of it. So no, you will do hex 10 as a drain plug. And where is the filler, which you will actually crack open first? Well, if you look right above it, right there, that's a 24 millimeter plug, which you always have to crack open first, at least crack open. Uh, because you don't want to drain that entire hybrid transaxle and then purely theoretically be unable to undo this one. You can see the socket right here. Ideally it's a 6 and not 12 point because it hacks that filler plug better. So I crack that open first. You can leave it there if you want or remove it. That's totally, doesn't matter. Okay, I will remove it. There was a little bit vacuum. This hybrid transaxle fluid was never done. We just discussed that. 
And I want to show you, I want to catch it for you. You want to see how bad the fluid is. I always use gloves. This is just a filming. I'm tired of keep putting them on and off, on and off. So pretend that I have a glove right now, my orange glove. I will go and wash my hands immediately after this, but I want to show you. I want to show you how that fluid is bad. It was never changed. This vehicle is 19 years old. It's not driven so much, only 86,000 miles. You might say, Peter, you are ripping her hair off. Shouldn't you wait it to 105,000 miles? Isn't it scheduled at that? Well, this thing is scheduled nowhere to be found when it should be done. And if you take a sample, which I did, I cracked it open and look at the quality of it. If you take a sample and you see this fluid in such a bad shape, you definitely make yourself a favor and you go ahead and do this very simple drain and refill. You will like how simple it is. And what is the correct fluid for this hybrid transaxle, you may ask? And here I have the answer for you. Toyota ATF WS. WS means world standard. But Peter, you didn't say how much of fluid we need. Why you don't tell us? I will not only tell you what is in the books, but I'm catching it in this pan. So we will see how dark, how contaminated it is. And we will also measure what we got out of this transaxle today. And what is also true, you can ignore all of that because when you will be filling it, you can wait until it will overflow and that will set your level in this hybrid transaxle. This was dripping for a long time because I took between the lunch, so it's definitely ready to be installed. The plug goes back. <clears throat> it has a crush washer made of aluminum, thick one. The torque will be 39 Newton meters. <clears throat> and be careful with that if you don't have a torque wrench. Uh, you don't want to crack that casing. You don't want to crack that entire aluminum casing. So be careful. Yeah. Here you can see how that fluid is contaminated, old and bad. So it was definitely reason to replace. And here you can see in person right here how much fluid is coming out and how much fluid there are for how many quarts of that Toyota ATFWS you will need. And looking at the scale on the back of that can, we can clearly see that it's right at the four quartz mark. Now I will have a lot of fun installing these four quarts of the fluid using the syringe. You guys saw a video about this larger tool. This will be way faster, but you saw the video that it failed on me here. It accidentally opened and spilled that fluid all over the floor and I didn't take a time yet to modify this, to stop it from accidentally opening. Hopefully this angle will give you a good idea to see how it's installed in. Also, it will show you how that fluid should be looking like, how nice and clean, pinkish light, pinkish color, how it looks when it's new. It's relatively easy to get it in. 
And as I said, the overflow also works as a measure of the level, so you don't have to remember that it takes four quarts of the fluid. And it actually took a little bit less than four quarts, and it's nicely overly overflowing. You can see that drip, and you can see how clear and clean the transmission fluid is. So I will let it drip for a few minutes, and when it will basically pause, when it will stop, there will be time to put that filler plug back. I'm pretty sure you will agree that this is easy, a very good service for DIYers because um, in contrary with the sealed transmissions, modern sealed transmissions, you are not using special measuring methods to get the level correctly. It's a simple overflow, very, very easy to deal with. Or, you know, it's slightly below four quarts. I really didn't use full four quarts of the new, I don't know why the catching pan was showing slightly over four. I still have tiny bit left in the four quart. And here again, be careful you don't break it. 39 Newton meters, it's enough. That bolt crushes that aluminum washer. So there will be no leaks, the bolt will not fall off. And that 80,000 miles, that's just a rough estimate uh, to give you idea when we are looking at these fluids. The unit is closed, it doesn't have a dipstick or anything, so you will think the dirt cannot get inside. Yes, when you use it for the normal city driving on the asphalt, 80,000 miles, it's reasonable. If you are one of those people who lift their Priuses and go off-roading every weekend in the nature camping, it's easily the whole interval will be cut in half and I will be looking at it at 40,000 miles. Anytime you are using so-called severe conditions, uh, the fluid intervals go half on the trucks. It's the same, the differentials, transfer case, engine oil, including. If you go off-rounding in this instead of 5,000 miles, you should do it like 25 or 3,000. So that's a rule of thumb for everybody, just to give you idea. I hope you find this video helpful and maybe encouraging to do your own maintenance. This is super easy and I don't think there's reason to pay somebody like this guy to do that for uh, the owner. Thank you for watching. If you find it helpful, please give it a thumb up and stay tuned. I have way more coming your way soon. See you later, alligator.